Hey, welcome to Whole Latte Love. Mark here with Todd. And Todd, we're going to take people through the Gaja line of bean to cup automatic coffee and espresso machines. We're going to show you what each machine can do, kind of, you know, the basics about it. We got a lot more information on each one if you want to go deeper, but we just want to try and help you figure out, you know, which machine is going to be right for you. Yeah, so. and the, the key with these things are these machines, they can brew coffee, espresso, and cappuccinos, lattes, any specialty drink you want to do, they can do it. That's right. And so what kind of what the difference in the line is, is, is how you're going to deal with the milk, right, in the different machines. Um, so you got some that you're going to froth manually, you got some that's going to do it for you automatically. And then we get up into the upper end, you get more control over the coffee and espresso. Um, but the key things, right, they grind fresh, whole beans, um, better than the plastic cup things and way cheaper, by the way. Yeah, nothing going into the dumpster or you get some nice compost. The coffee is good for growing plants, so you can reuse it. Yeah, far more cost effective. They all have the uh, bypass dosers. So, like, I know you say, you know, you, if you want a decaf, right? Uh, sure. Pre-ground coffee is it's nice to have around. If you have people over, there's always somebody who wants to use a decaf, and I have been that person once or twice. <laughs> okay. So it's good to have. So they, they can all use pre-ground in the rare circumstance when you need to do that. Maybe mm -hmm. not so rare for some, but Todd, let's start with a Brera. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Brera is the best value machine in a super automatic, basically, you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, you see it's relatively compact, it's got a nice stainless steel front, the water reservoir and used coffee container all pull out from the front, so it's easy access. And you can see where the beans go in the top there. And then there's your bypass doser. Great little machine, it's been around for many years, proven reli reliability. Right. Um, and just so you know, like these machines, I mean, 10,000 cups all the time, right? Yeah. I mean, th that's, you know, 10,000 cups or more. So do the math on that, you know, on what that's worth. Um, so that's the Brera, and that's, that, that one's been around for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Then we move up to the Animas. We got the two Animas here. They're a little narrower. They have more space under the spout. So if you like the travel mugs, you want to keep the uh, spout uh, clearance there in mm -hmm. mind. Yep. Um, and again, now in here we have the base anima that has the frothing wand like the Brera. Yep. And, and then, then we get up to a one-touch. Yeah. What's a one-touch machine? That's a term <laughs> that gets thrown around yeah. a lot. Basically, you push a button, it grinds, tamps, and brews your coffee, espresso, and it frosts the milk for you. So you just take the craft out of the refrigerator, you plug it in the machine, push one button, and it does the rest. When you're done, take the craft off, put it back in the refrigerator, and you're good to go for the next time. And a lot of you really doesn't get any easier than that, right? No. <laughs> Not driving anywhere, no, no standing in lines. So those are the uh, animas. And now we have the Velascas. And kind of the same, the same story here, two different models and kind of the differences in how they work with the milk, right? Yeah, which is the same with the Anima and the Prestige. We have the Velasca and Velasca Prestige. The Velasca has the steam wand, has the black front. The Prestige has a um, auto frother there, the carafe, and um, the stainless steel front. And also, you can do hot water in any of these machines. Right. So with, these, with the ones with the craft, you just pull them off, put a hot water dispenser on, and you can dispense hot water through those. So if you're doing tea or the Americano, which is just espresso with hot water on it, um, you can do it with any of the machines. Um, and whereas on the Animas, you know, the, the beans and water go on the top, and the Velasquez, it's a front access. For the water. The beans still on the or top. Or the beans still on the top, right. Yep. And then? Okay. Then with the Gababila and the Academia. Yeah. Uh, I would say these are kind of like the Mac Daddies of the two. Yes. Yeah. They grind, tap, and brew like these, but they also have some other features that are really important. Well, they have on the front of the machine, on front of the, uh, the spouts, you can see what we call, or they call, the SBS controller. You can control the speed of the flow of the coffee. So if you're doing a tall cup of coffee, you set it one way and it brews quickly. That way you don't over extract your coffee. If you want to do an espresso, you turn it the other way, and it'll brew slowly. A lot of back pressure, a lot of pressure for brewing the espresso, because espresso is pressure brewed coffee. Right, right. And then, and then, uh, so these, and these are both have the crafts, and you got some drinks lined up on here to show you just what you know some of these can do. Um, also has the really a lot of clearance, so if you want to leave with a tall latte or a tall yep. coffee or whatever in the morning, yeah. you can do that. But then the really cool thing that these do, right, that that no other manufacturer does. Yeah, and this is what I really love about them. You can them. only get it on a Gaja. Yeah, you, sorry, you can't get on a DeLonghi, on a Jura. Uh, it has a separate steam wand, so if you don't want to use the craft, you just want to get in there and froth the milk to your specifications, you can do it. So if you want to create really creamy froth for latte art in a frothing pitcher, you can do that. Um, and control the, any temperature you want, whether you're really hot or you want to cool. Total control. 
Yeah, that, yeah. that's something really special. Very, very special. Um, and another thing about these machines is because of their so high end electronics, they're very programmable. We're programming all these different buttons any way you want to use them. But it can't be just as simple as you take it out of the box, put it on the counter, put the milk in, put the beans and water in, and push a button, and then it's going to make you the, a drink you yes. know, like that. Good point. You don't need a book to really program these things. It's also very easy to do, and they come out of the box ready to go. Right. So, like, maybe you're coming from a Keurig, you know, and you're getting sick of the cups or whatever, and you want to go to a better cup of coffee and have those expanded capabilities, the bean-to-cup machine, right? I mean, yeah. fresh ground coffee doesn't get any better and really cost effective compared to a capsule based system. Yeah. And the beans you can get, you can go anywhere you want for beans. Of course, we'd love to have them buy them from yeah. us, yeah. but if for some reason, silly reason, you don't want to, <laughs> you go down to the local roaster that you have there. Right. And you can try some of his coffee. I mean, the world's open to you then. You're not trapped by what they want to sell you. So that's, that's the line of Gaja machines. Um, quite a lot, and hopefully we've helped you, you know, maybe identify which one interests you. Of course, we've got a lot more information, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, we have tons of videos on all these machines that show you how they work. Right down to the part of really nice feature we may not have mentioned is that the brew groups come out. Mm -hmm. So if you, that's where all that's like what you like to call the mini barista. Yeah, the little and barista then, inside the yeah, machine. Because the coffee gets ground and goes into. You don't have thing. to tip. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you you grind the coffee, goes into it, tamps it, it brews it, and then it dumps the used coffee. You can pull that out. You can rinse it out of the sink and let it dry, and you're good to go. A really nice feature with Gaja. But the, you know, overall, the machines are just so easy to use. I mean, there's nothing to put in it other than the beans and the water, right? Mm -hmm. And to empty that, you know, after 10, it depends on which machine, but 10 to 15 or so, brew cycles, just empty out the used coffee and mm -hmm. rinse a couple parts, and that's it. Yeah, give us more water and, and push a button. Go again. So again, if you have questions, another thing, we're, you know, we're here. We, we'll talk to you on the phone. You can't say that in a lot of places where you're going to oh, buy yeah. stuff. If you bought a machine from 18 years ago, Mm -hmm. We've been around that long, um, and so have I with the company. Uh, you can give us a call and we can help you with that machine you bought then or the one you bought yesterday. We have trained professionals here who've been around the block a few times. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, we also do chat and email support, all kinds of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Uh, once again, that's the line of Gaja Super Automatic Bean to Cup Machines. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.